Hello, how is everyone doing? This video is going to be about how to utilize your Karuta spreadsheets plus tagging and burning multiple cards as quick as possible. Also, at the end, there's going to be a brief introduction to working. We're going to start out by pulling a spreadsheet. I'm just going to say K for this video instead of K explanation point to make things a little bit faster. It's going to give you the option to react to this uh, message and that'll generate a new spreadsheet. If you don't click that, it'll pull the spreadsheet that the spreadsheet that you might have used previously. So after it generates, it'll give you a link and we're going to open that bad boy up. Here we go. Yep. And it brought me to this screen over here. I'm just going to save it in downloads. Uh, see the rest of mine. There's a CSV file and we'll use that CSV file to um, we'll open up Google Sheets and import that CSV file to it. I already have a Karuta Collections spreadsheet, and this is some of the ones that I've done before. We're going to click on File on the top left. We're going to click on Import, and then go all the way to the right over here to Upload. Drag a file here. I'm going to select that and go all the way up to Quick Access because the recent files is going to have what I've downloaded the most recently. Double click that. It'll upload. There's going to be a few options. You can create a new spreadsheet or you can put insert new sheet. This is what I recommend. So everything's organized on one Google Doc, on um, one Google Sheets, I guess you could say. Uh, that This is fine right here. This is fine right here. You leave that checked. Detect automatically. Import data. It'll pull right up here. I automatically go ahead and rename it or I will forget. We're going to use today's date, 421. And then I'm going to open this guy up. Welcome to your Karuta spreadsheet. There's a lot of great information on here. I'm going to delete and cut the stuff that we aren't really going to look at. That's not really going to pertain to the video. I'm going to start out with going to the obtain date and the obtain timestamp. Click on the G and the H. I use shift to highlight both. Right click, clear these columns, bam, just like that. And then we're going to go over here to tag and we're going to cut it and paste it, bam. And then we're going to go over to work effort over here where the W is and do the same thing and paste it in H. So we got this two right there. It's going to leave these blank. And for the sake of the video, I'm going to delete all the rest of these columns. We don't really need them at this moment. So I will click J and then highlight all the columns extra and then just delete those. You don't have to do this, it's all at the personal preference, but to make this spreadsheet look a little nicer, at this moment, I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna leave this open right here, and if that doesn't show up for you, insert uh, one column to the right, and it'll pop up, and we're gonna label that notes. Now, Google Sheets doesn't automatically make this information into a table, so we're gonna highlight of it, highlight all of it, and how I do that is Control Shift uh, after clicking A1, and then click right on the arrow key and then down on the arrow key and it's going to have all your data for you nice and quick and then go to the top over here and click data and then create filter and it's going to make these icons on your headers and this is going to be super useful for organizing our table now that we've done all that we're going to start filtering our spreadsheet i'm going to start with going up to work effort the worker effort header and clicking a to z and it's going to start zero all the way to our highest work effort uh, if you click z to a it'll do the opposite and we can see our highest our cards with the highest work effort and the highest burn value we're going to for the most part ignore any of these higher work effort cards i kind of deal with these later this video is about tagging uh, cards to burn them so we're going to flip it to the lowest work effort and lowest burn value and then i'm going to go over to tag and what I'm going to do is take out all the cards that I want to save. I don't really want to concern myself with at the moment. It's going to be super useful if you have a bunch of tags, like cards like Series 1 or some of my favorite uh, cards from my favorite series. I have favorites on here. I have cards that I want to trade, I don't want to burn. We're going to go up to Tag, click on that column, and Clear. And it's going to clear all these values. And I'm going to click on Blinks, and click on Burn. And then press OK. So cards that don't have any tags, and cards that do have the burn tag will show up only in this entire spreadsheet. So we know what we're looking at. 
and then we're going to start all the way here up at the top. The majority of your cards are going to have little to no work effort or burn value. Uh, and we're going to start at the very bottom of that. And how we're going to do that is we're going to start going through these cards and figuring out if we want to keep them or we're going to burn them. And the main reason I like to go through them like the way I'm about to show you is to see if I like the card, see if it's cool. Like, I don't know what this anime is. I don't know what this character is, but I might like them it's just based off what they look like. So what I'll do is highlight both of these by clicking on the character and then shift clicking on the series copy and then just showing it straight in the search bar on my Google Chrome and seeing what pops up. Uh, Herminia doesn't show up at all. So she's probably a really minor character. At that point, I'll go in the Discord and K view uh, with the card code and see what she looks like on the card. Um, but a lot of times for the sake of time, I'm just gonna burn her. I don't really recognize the card, it has no value. And then what I'll do in our notes section, not in the tag section, is put burn. And that's gonna be helpful later on to know when uh, to know what cards we're gonna select for the multi-burn or the multi-tag part. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the burn tag in this column, just because I've already tagged those. And before we, I start going through some of the card, uh, like checking if we're gonna burn them, um, I'm gonna show you how to create a burn tag. We're gonna go over to our Discord. And let's go to Karuta Tavern. And then how we create a tag is K, T, C, that's tag create. And I've already named one of my tags burn. So I'm gonna name this one burn two. And then we have to select emoji. You have to select emoji. I did the fire, uh, the flame for my burn tag. So let's see if there's another fire. Oh, these look cool. Some emojis aren't accepted with the Karuta bot. Let's see if the heart is. Yep, unacceptable emoji. So let's try that again. And we'll do burn fire hydrant what about the fire engine is that gonna work bam tag has been added successfully so now that we created our tag we can go back to our spreadsheet and then we can start going through some of these cards i won't go through all of these let's go through just a couple and i'll show you a bit of my process of eliminating the cards Um, this guy has a cool mustache, but I don't recognize him. Little value. I'm going to go ahead and type burnt. Let's do just a couple more. Utah, you're under arrest. Is Utah going to pop up? There's Utah. Pretty basic. All right. I don't even think that's Yuta. I think that's Natsumi, whoever that is. We're just going to burn it. And as I go through these, I'm going to be looking out for cards that I want to tag for other things, like the Prince of Tennis. I might actually watch that anime. Um, and I can create a tag with, like, view later tag. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to leave a blank. But it's useful to have multiple tags to organize these cards and see if you want to keep them later or see if they're cool cards or if the anime seems interesting. At least that's my mindset of all of it. Okay, so I'm going to burn Felix Leal. I'm going to leave the Prince of Tennis blank for now. I'm not sure what I want to do with him just yet. Eve's Angel from Angelic Lair. Um, this looks very Sailor Moonish. I'm going to go ahead and burn that. So we got a few of the cards to tag, uh, to put the burn two tag on. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go back to discord and how we're going to do that is K T and K T. You can tag one card or you can tag multiple cards. I'm going to go over here to notes and uncheck blank. So it's just my burn cards that show up. So it's easier to organize this. Let's scroll over to code. And then we can just copy paste all of that. So when you're working these spreadsheets, you might have 50 cards you want to burn at one time. 
and I haven't found the most efficient way to copy and paste in there because if you copy and paste a column in this uh, Discord chat, it's it's gonna give you an error that co the card code isn't uh, available or you don't own the card. So we're gonna delete all that. And how I have been doing it, which is a little tedious, maybe you guys can find a different way, is I'll paste it in Notepad, go behind the F. Each card starts with the letter F, so that will help you look for uh, look out for not adding any extra characters. And I'm just going to press Home, Delete Key, Space. Home, Delete Key, Space. And it's pretty fun once you get the hang of it and you're doing like 50 of these. And now you can copy and paste it in your uh, tag command. And now all those, oh, I forgot to mention. You have to type the name of your tag in before you post the card codes. So we created burn two, and now it's gonna tag those cards. And how we can check that out is going to our tag list, which is just TL, KTL. And you can see burn two, now it's five cards. And you can also check out another player's tag list as well all right here comes the fun part burning these cards okay explanation point and we're gonna do mb for multi burn tag colon burn two and that's gonna burn all the cards the tag burn two I know that you can do multi burn and then copy and paste all the card codes, but it's really useful to go through them and tag them and then burn them. It's going to allow you to really see what you're burning, what kind of cards you have and what you want to do with them. I'm going to go ahead and click enter and it'll give us a summary. Everything's going to be burned. And then if there's too many to put on one page, you can scroll through the pages. We're going to accept this burn and click burn again. And then the cards have been burned. Uh, I'm sure maybe there's a faster way to tag and burn your cards. This is the fastest way I have seen so far, and it's been pretty useful. And especially if you have 100, over 100 cards and you want to burn like 60 of them, this is going to be the quickest way that I have found for you to do it. Uh, one of the main goals of making the video is to help everyone get enough gold to buy their first worker's ticket. You'll need 2,000 gold and it's good for 30 days. You'll buy the ticket from the K item shop, which is just IS. And we'll scroll over and it'll be right up here. You get that worker's permit, not the worker's ticket, sorry. And once you have the permit, you can throw your cards with the highest work effort onto your job board. And I'll show you an example of my job board, which is just JB. And my contribution is 458. It's not super awesome right now, hopefully, your cards will be a bit better than mine. And then we'll assign each card to the job slot. Your job board will be completely empty uh, with the cards in these nodes. And how we'll assign them is just like this. We'll do KJW and we're gonna select the slot we're gonna assign. I'm gonna click out, I'm gonna kick out Nisa here. You don't have to do anything to kick them out, you just have to assign a new card to it. And I'll open my spreadsheet up. And I'll find, let's go with Waifu Asuka. And we're gonna select the card code. And we've done KJWD for that job slot. And then I've put the card code. And now it's been assigned. And now it'll give me an update. There's Asuka. In order to sign the notes, We'll have to check out the nodes, which is just K nodes. And we'll see those taxes on the nodes. Gold's always gonna be number one. It's always gonna have a 50% tax. I assigned all my workers to work gold to begin with uh, in order to get enough money to buy a worker's permit at the end of the month. And then I've been assigning different nodes to different workers, depending on what taxes what. And once we start, once you start assigning workers and getting the worker permit, you can figure out how to assign the nodes to the worker slot. And it, it's pretty simple, almost just as simple as assigning a card to the workers board. That's pretty much it for the video, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.